Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is fisheries biologist Stephen Barden and today I have a short video on how to identify hydrilla. Now hydrilla is a non-native species that you should really never have to worry about in your private pond but every once in a while I get a phone call from a concerned landowner that thinks they have identified this plant in their pond. Now typically it's more of a native plant that's been misidentified uh, but you should you should be aware of the characteristics that make hydrilla hydrilla and that's why I wanted to go ahead and make this video for you guys. So we're going to start by looking at the leaves of hydrilla. Uh, one of the best ways to, to identify hydrilla is using its leaves. The leaves of hydrilla are always short, flat leaves that are in a blade or like a strap-like pattern uh, that come to a point at the end. So as you can see, these leaves, there's five of them at that first node. So hydrilla actually will grow in their leaves in a whorl pattern of four to eight. So it can be anywhere from four to eight. Ours happens to be five in this example. The leaves have very small teeth on the edges in the midrib and turions at the base. Uh, but the most important is, is going to be those small teeth. And they can be hard to see. So what I like to do is take a magnifying glass or my iPhone and zoom in real close and uh, actually look at the small teeth on the edges of the leaves. That's a great way to identify this plant. So look for a whorl pattern leaf that's flat uh, and blade-like with those small teeth. Now, a couple other things to, to know about hydrilla is as it as it grows deeper uh, the the leaf spacing will increase so whenever you've got uh, stems that are coming from 20 feet of water the spacing between the leaves may be 6 to 12 inches but whenever you have it at the surface they may be just a few inches apart or, or bunched together uh, so you're actually going to see different leaf growth based on depth finally one more thing that you should look for is if you can pull the uh, entire plant out and look at the root and from the roots what you may see are small tubers uh, those tubers are like potatoes that, that actually allow the plant to regrow um, year after year. So once again, look at the leaves. Does it grow in a whorl pattern of four to eight? And does it have those small teeth? And if it does, uh, it could be hydrilla. If you have enjoyed this video, uh, please subscribe to the channel, like, leave a comment, and uh, this has been Real Biology.